So we're going to try and fix this. Um, hopefully this will be a simple process, but who knows. Um, so I've got myself a little diagram. <laughs> it's so, it's such garbage, isn't it? Anyway, so these are the, these are the connections that I'm missing essentially. Um, or rather I've done wrong. So um, from this reset line here, I need to go down to the, the carry in pin of the 4510 and the same over here. So I'm gonna try and do that. Well, here goes nothing. So I've just soldered on, I sort of forgot to turn the camera on, but I've just soldered on a couple of wires here. They're really not the kind of wires I'd like to deal with um, doing this because they're a bit thick, but um, I will persevere now they're going on to pin five of this IC and this IC. At least I think that's right. Um, that should be the right order. So that's one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> we'll double check. Well, it doesn't matter if I get it wrong. We can always um, we can always fix it. So what I need to do is just pop a little bit more solder onto the ends of these wires. I've stripped off a little bit of the, the wire on there so that uh, they're a sort of thinner tip. And then we're going to just touch them onto pin five. So that should go to this one. There's definitely too much on the end of there. Let's just take a little bit off. And probably a little bit on that one too. Let's see if we can just gently touch those on. Well, that one is connected, that's good. And then that one over there as well. Let's just pop a little more solder on. I'm aware that you probably can't really see very well because I can't either, so come on now. Well, it is connected. So let's give it a test, shall we? and see if anything happens. So you're watching this live. I haven't cut anything out. I don't know if it's gonna work. I'm just doing it based off the schematic. No testing has been done at all. It should be in the one hertz mode. So we should see something light up. Well, there we go. Uh, that's not exactly what I wanted to happen. <laughs> um, yeah, that shouldn't be happening. Okay, that's not uh, that's not quite right. So let's pop. <laughs> what have I done? It's essentially duplicated that circuit, hasn't it? Oh, what have I done wrong? Okay, back to the drawing board. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about at my wit's end with this now. So. I've had to add some more bodge wires, as you can see. Now, it turns out the issue was more complex than I thought. And I had sort of gone with the easy way from the data sheet to use the IC. But when you're, um, when you're sort of putting them as a ripple chain, so each one triggers another, then you can use the carry out signal from one IC to the next. Um, but if you're using that carry out signal, or if you're using the, sorry, if you're using the carry in um, from a separate trigger, you have to use a um, sort of an AND gate as I'm using, but it means you have to ground out the carry out of that IC. <laughs> and I hadn't done that. So these two white wires here, they go to the carry out line of those two ICs. I've also cut the traces on the bottom of the board just there and there so that they're not now connected to the carry out, or the carry in isn't connected to the carry out of the other ICs. And I've 
copied over the, uh, the trigger to the IC clock, so the clock pin, um, which I had to the normal clock. So I thought the carry in would mean that it would trigger on the, uh, the clock, but it is not the case. So currently we have it, uh, so it does work. So we've got the seconds, the big seconds, and then the minutes, the single minutes, they work fine, but it's all about to go wrong. <laughs> I hate my life. Come on. So I now need to figure out what, what's gone wrong here. So we've got, um, what's that? So let's just do it really fast. Oh, the power bank's gone off again, annoying. So um, some of these LEDs are the wrong way around, which is fine. Um, but why does it fly through the hours so quickly? It should not trigger that much. So um, I think I've got an issue here in that I'm triggering either on the wrong IC. I mean, maybe I need to be triggering on this one. I don't know. It needs a bit more work. I've completely misunderstood how the full 510 works when it's um, used in this kind of, in this scenario. Oh, I'm just so annoyed. Well, I'll continue to try and fix it. Well, it's come, it's getting late now. I mean, it's half past nine <laughs> trying to fix this thing. I've resorted to wine. You know, you can't solve uh, any problems on an empty stomach, can you? So I did that. <laughs> so this is where we are at the moment. I'm right up to the hours section now. So everything else is working. All my bodge wires are in place. This is where I figured out that I didn't read the data sheet, but I don't know whether I said this before, but it's been a little while since I last did a little clip, but screwed up my uh, carry out lines. And um, so they're meant to be grounded, it turns out. And uh, whatever, it's, I'll explain it properly when, I'm, um, when I've sorted it and changed my schematic. But uh, we're at the point now, we're about to jump over to hours. So I know I thought some of my, the silk screen was the wrong way around because we've got eight, four, two, and one here. But actually, these LEDs read um, the right way. So one, two, four. So that's seven o'clock, isn't it? Um, so it should go to eight o'clock. So this top LED once we jump over. So there we go. So that was five there. So it was 59. So it is a part of it's wrong, part of it's not. So the LEDs are in the wrong place. It's not just the silk screen, frustratingly. <laughs> oh God, what I'm trying to do is find out whether these ones at the end work, work not very well, do they? They shouldn't have jumped like that. So let's, yeah, look, see, we're getting some crosstalk there. And do you know why that is? It's because we have essentially floating inputs and outputs on that last chip. Because I'm, uh, the seventh pin there is the carry out, which I've grounded. I also need to now cut the carry in line and have the carry, uh, have the, the, uh, the clock line go from this IC to here. So the carry out needs to go to the clock on here and then it will be done, I hope. Oh, do you know how much this has taxed my brain? I'm not a clever man and um, reading that data sheet over again and realizing I'd messed everything up was so soul destroying. Um, and then I had to look at my schematic again. And when you look at someone's schematic and it's all, it all looks absolutely right, it's really hard to look at it from that base level again and see where you've gone wrong. So it's been a real chore. So thanks for bearing with me for part four. Can you believe part four of me putting together a prototype which should have worked? Anyway, I'll be back. So most of it appears to be working. I've got the last bodge on, uh, which is taking away the, the, the normal clock signal from this chip, grounding out its carry out, and also it's putting the carry into ground as well. Um, and I'm hoping that's gonna work, but I can't be entirely sure because I'm waiting for it to go through all these um, iterations. I've got to get up to the right time. So at the moment, I, can't, I don't know if these are in the right order. I need to check um, whether the silk screen is lying to me or not. But um, if that is three, because I should have just sort of counted, that might be okay. So it's three in the morning, 
four in the morning, that makes sense, it's jumped to there. So if it was the other way around, it wouldn't have worked. So three, God, this is gonna take a while, isn't it? So five. I'll try and speed some of this up. Six, seven. We'll go to eight now, this top one. So essentially this is eight in the morning when it gets to here. I'm just about to trip over. There we go, eight. Then we're gonna to go to nine, so it'll be the bottom one and the top one. All of these seem to be working, everything before that. So all the minutes are working. The hours is the difficult bit. So we should go to nine. We're on nine. And then 10 should light the bottom one over here. And these should go out, <laughs> I hope. All right, just about to do it. Yes, okay, so it's now 10 in the morning. Um, and we're gonna go to 11. So once these get two separated there, one more and it goes. So four, five, nine, there we go. So that is now 11. We'll fast forward through this bit. We know it's just gonna go to, uh, want it to get to, Twelve. So it's now 1300 hours, so that's one o'clock in the afternoon. I'm just gonna drink some wine while this happens. So two o'clock in the afternoon. I wish I'd actually put a faster trigger on here now. I've realized how slow this is. So I might switch them around. So it's now 1600 hours. So four o'clock in the afternoon. What I want to do is find out what happens when it gets to eight o'clock in the after, eight o'clock in the evening, and then what happens when it gets to 2300 hours. So what should happen is it should be 2359 and 59 seconds, and then it should completely reset, but we'll see. So it's now at six o'clock in the evening, seven o'clock in the evening. So it's 24 hours, if you hadn't figured that out already. So now it's eight, so the hours have gone and we've got the big hours at two. Big hours, tens of hours. So now it's nine o'clock in the evening. Are you gonna work? Please work. God. Oops. Um, okay, so now it's, what was that, 22? So this is 10 o'clock in the evening. 23. Okay, so this is the scary bit where I'm sure my logic should work and it should reset. Right, so we're at 23.48 seconds. No, actually these ones are reversed it seems, but... Um, 23, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55. Here we go. And it reset. Oh, that means it works. <laughs> oh my Lord. It works, everyone. Okay, well, that's it. Thanks for watching. <laughs> I'm going to bed now. Look at that. It is, uh, you can't see what the time is there. Look. It is, I'm not going to bed, it's almost, it's close to 10, but it only freaking works. So I'll let you have a little close look up at the bodge stuff that I've got going on here. Uh, in fact, we can zoom, can't we? So, 
These are all my little bodge wires. <laughs> it's shocking, isn't it? Um, yeah, well, you know, I've managed to troubleshoot it in an evening. I started doing this at about six o'clock, so that's three hours-ish of troubleshooting to get this right. Um, and I published the video today, the part three, which I sort of said might be the last one, but it isn't. Anyway, this is it. Oh, you ca I cannot tell you. Oh, I cannot tell you how pleased I am that this actually works. This blasted thing, which I can now not, can I move over here? This blasted thing. <laughs> it actually works. Well, Cheers.